So one of the things that I find a problem with when it comes to AI content is that it still requires the final touches, right? You need an SEO checklist like this, where you can go through the content, you add your internal links, external links, YouTube videos, introduction, clean up all the fluff, etc. And so I was like, well, can't a custom GPT do that by creating a free tool? And that's what I was thinking. So it's time to set up an SEO checklist tool that's basically going to rank my content for me in one click. And we're going to test it and see if it actually works or not. And basically what we want this custom GPT to handle is internal links, external links, titles, meta descriptions, YouTube video links, even images, etc. And that's exactly how I'm going to program this tool and share it with you for free after this is created. Plus we'll test whether it actually ranks or not. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to create a custom GPT, as you can see right here. And we're going to say goal is to edit content before it's published to add the finishing touches, right? Because it's usually that last 20% that makes the difference between whether you're actually going to rank on the first page or not. So how are we going to do this? What, what I'm actually going to do is put in a Google Doc all the prompts I want ChatGPT to use. Then we're going to plug it into a ChatGPT like this. And I'll show you how it works and how the tool optimizes your existing content. And then basically what we can do is take any piece of AI content that we've got or that we've already published or is brand new and needs to be published. We can plug it through this tool, do the final re-optimizations and then publish that content directly on the website to make sure that it ranks and has a much higher chance of ranking. Why? Because we're using the SEO checklist that I've created already here. Why is this SEO checklist good? Because if you look at a website like juliangoldie.com, for example, and this is the exact website that I use this SEO checklist on, the content ranks really well, plus it's ranking stick, right? And you can see the growth of this website since we started using ChatGPT and the SEO checklist that we're going to plug into our free tool today. So it's a really powerful way of creating content and making sure that it sticks, ranks, and actually is nicely formatted. And bear in mind, the traffic on this website is not just ranking, but it's also bringing in money and sales every day in new strategy sessions. So let's get into it. And also the reason that I'm going to give you the custom instructions is maybe you want to create your own custom GPT and just edit the final parts to it and tweak it how you want. And if so, then you can use this document right here, which I'll share with you inside my free course. And then you can edit it as much as you want. So for example, we want it to generate an intro for the keyword. So it's going to use the keyword in the first sentence like this. And ChatGPT is actually going to ask the user for that keyword. Then we want to add some internal links. Why do we want internal links? Because we want the architecture of our website to be well structured and all linked together. So that's easier for Google to crawl. If it's easier for Google to crawl, it's easier to rank our content and get more traffic from Google. So what I'm going to do is actually get ChatGPT and this custom GPT to ask you for a list of your internal links so that when you plug in your keyword and your internal links into this tool, it basically handles the rest. And this might require some tweaking, but we'll give it a go and we'll see how it goes. Then we also want some external links inside our content. Why do we want that? Because quite often when you're using these AI tools, the one-click article generators will not give you external links inside your content. So you have to add them manually. That takes a lot of Google and a lot of messing around, etc. And ChatGPT should be able to automate it for you and find relevant external links to add within your content. But when you're adding external links inside an article, you want them to be relevant and you want them to be authoritative. So how can you do that? Well, we can make sure that ChatGPT suggests relevant external links to add within the content, plus the anchor text, and ideally from authoritative, trustworthy brands. Then for the title, we want it to suggest some highly relevant titles for the content that front load the keyword we're trying to rank for, but a short, interesting, and very clickbait because we have to win the click on Google. That's the whole point. If you rank on Google, but you don't win the click, then you're wasting your time and you're not going to get as much traffic as you possibly can. And like I say, these are just the custom instructions. So if you don't want clickbait related titles or you want to tweak any of the instructions, then you can, because I'll give you this list so that you can customize your own tool any way you want, if you want to along with the link to the custom GPT that I'm creating right now. And ideally, we wanted to suggest five highly relevant titles. Why do we want five? Because typically, if ChatGPT just suggests one, but we don't like it, then we have to go back and forth with it. If we get five, then chances are one out of five of those will be something that we can copy and paste in our, into our article. And therefore, we save time, it's more productive, and we get a better optimized article for our content. We're also going to get some meta description ideas. So we're going to ask ChatGPT for five 17-word meta description options 
that are highly optimized to the keyword we want to rank for. Then again, we can just select one of those. If it's good, we plug it into our content. If it's bad, we can leave the meta description blank and it doesn't even matter. And then for me, what I like to do inside my content, if you check, for example, some of my pages to get the most traffic, like this one that's ranking number one, you can see inside the content, I always have relevant YouTube videos. Why do I insert relevant YouTube videos? Because it makes the content more engaging. And obviously YouTube is owned by Google, which means that in my opinion, Google's more likely to push an article with a YouTube video inside because it gets more traffic both ways and you're going to make Google more money that way. Plus it just makes your content look more richer. So even if Google has no bias towards blogs with YouTube related videos, well, your content looks better. It's richer. It's going to keep people on the page longer and it signals more relevance to Google's crawler. So we're going to say find five relevant YouTube videos that I could insert inside the content. Quite and what I also like to do inside my content quite often is have a section that looks like this and it will say key takeaways and then we'll have bullet point related summaries of the content that we created. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do that, to give me a list of key takeaways and short bullet points for the article. And that's basically it. So this tool, basically you give it the keyword, any internal links you want to insert, any content you want to rewrite or re-optimize or you've already got but need to edit before you post it. You can generate an intro internal links, external links, a title, a meta description, YouTube videos, and a list of key takeaways, which basically means that 80% of the SEO checklist you would normally follow before publishing content is already there, ready to go inside the content. In fact, one final thing that we'll do is we'll say to the custom GPT, generate relevant images using DALI for the topic, right? So we've got YouTube videos, we've got relevant images, basically everything we need to get this article published and edited before we publish it is ready to go. And what I'm going to do from here is take the custom instructions like you can see. We're going to plug that into our custom GPT. We'll call this the free AI SEO content editor tool. And it's basically used for optimizing your content before publishing and helping re-optimize old content. So that is more likely to rank. Plus you save time, all right? There we go. And you can see inside the capability section, we've got web browsing enabled and DALI image generation. One thing I'm not going to use is Code Interpreter just because I find it's not as good as it used to be. So previously Code Interpreter used to be intelligent, really powerful for analysis, but it seems to have been downgraded a little bit. So we're not going to use that anymore. And we shall use DALI 3 to generate an icon for this custom GPT. And from here, we're going to test, does it work or not actually? And I might have to go back and forth with ChatGPT a little bit before we start getting the results we want, but let's give it a go. So how does this workflow go? Well, for example, let's say we've got a article like this one which is small black birds, right? We're gonna copy that article. I'm gonna plug it into ChatGPT like so. I'm gonna say the keyword is small black birds. And then I'm gonna give it a list of internal links. How am I gonna find that? I'm gonna to go to my sitemap. We'll just grab some posts. We'll take the URLs like so, as you can see, plug those in and let's see what it does. And so now what I'm gonna do is whilst that is generating right here, we're going to copy this article plug it into a new article on my website, as you can see. And you could use this with Agility Writer, with free chat GPT content. You could even use the same process with human written content as well. But basically what you're trying to do here is create a very optimized article that's ready to go and saves you a lot of time. So for example, we've got the introduction right here. Let's see if it's better, which we could use for the introduction or the SEO titles, meta description options. So for example, like this one, we can plug into our meta description down here. And there we go. We've got a keyword optimized meta description for the keyword we're trying to rank for. We've got some YouTube video ideas right here. So we don't need to search around Google and try and find something relevant. It's all good to go. And it's all inside there directly. So I can paste that right in. And then you've got five other YouTube video suggestions. Basically saves you time, right? Because you don't need to think about what video you're going to add. You've got them all there. They're all relevant. Some of the links might not work, but that's why we're generating five of them. And you can see this one works, for example, this one too. We've got key takeaways here. So in case you haven't already created that, you've got it ready to go. And we've even got an image that we could insert inside our content too. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this is the external and internal link suggestions. So I'm going to change the custom instructions based on that. And I'm going to go back and forth with ChatGPT now and figure it out. Now, what I also like is that it's created a relevant intro based on the content that we've already got. So for example, the European Starling is mentioned within the article. So the introduction that we've got here about exploring the world of small blackbirds and 
understanding diverse species like blackbirds and European starlings is already in the intro revision. So it's relevant to the content. And then additionally, it's given us internal link suggestions so we can feed this URL into the sentence that's already within the content and add the link naturally. So you can see right here, that's the link is suggested. And then we can add the internal link within the content. And we don't need to think about it. So for example, when I regenerate this editor right here, it's got the internal link that I can copy right here. It's got the sentence to add the internal link. So making them common visitors app. Then I can find that within the content and just paste the internal link right there. And it's good to go. Internal link sorted out. The same for the external link suggestions. So it suggested the Audubon Society, Cornell Lab of Ornithology, and the National Geographic, right? These are all very authoritative websites, well respected within the industry. So for example, if I take this external link suggestion on Audubon Society, we'll grab the link, find the relevant sentence that it talks about, which is right here. And then we can insert the link into our content. And now we can use this SEO checklist tool every time we create content to rank it and save a lot of mental energy. Plus, if you've got a team that's doing this for you, then you don't need to train them. You can just give them the tool. ChatGPT instructs them exactly how to use it. And they're just plugging in the inputs that get the outputs so that you can publish content quickly on your website. That's basically it. All right, so now we're going to give it a cheeky go. And we're going to publish some content using the editor to see whether it actually ranks because there's no point doing all this if it doesn't rank, right? What's the bloody point? So let's give it a whirl. We'll pop that in there. We'll take the content that we've already created. And then finally, we'll pop in the internal links. What you also see is it suggests some relevant external links that you can just plug into your content for different sections, right? So for example, it's suggested for the turkey vulture section, a little sentence that just links out to the National Geographic right there. And then we'll plug in the title. We're going to hit publish. And what you also see as well is now that we've made those optimizations that the custom GPT recommends, we have a smiley green face on Yoast, which basically means the content is optimized, I would say, to standards. It's not perfect, but it will do the job for now. We'll get this published. I've actually got a scheduler. So the content, when it published, doesn't publish straight away, but now it should be. There we go. And then we'll plug that into our spreadsheet. And then I'm going to create some more content on other keywords right now. Optimize those, get them published, and see if it actually ranks using this custom GPT. And then I'll come back and measure the rankings. And then what I'm going to do is plug the custom GPT, the SEO checklist, and the custom instructions in case you want to create your own tool and customize it more. Inside my free course, I'm going to add it in the free AI SEO tool section. It's going to be called Custom Editor GPT. Plug it in there. Pop everything we've talked about today inside the description. And there you go. We're all ready to go and off to the races. That's published now. So if you want to get free access to this SEO course with loads of free AI SEO tools, keyword research, content creation tips, internal links, backlinks, AI SEO one click generators, etc. Basically, everything you can possibly think of when it comes to SEO is inside this course. It's got over 112 lessons. You can get it inside the comments. And if you do want to book in a call about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO, feel free to book that in. And we'll basically show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot using SEO. So feel free to book that in. Links in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye bye.